All right, I want to say good morning to everyone on this beautiful Tuesday morning. Uh, I want to also say that today would have been my late husband's birthday uh, on today. And um, I tell you, I truly miss him, but I thank God for everything that he taught me. So I'm going to do like I do. In remembrance of him on his birthday, I do this every year. I talk about something surrounding things that he's taught me. So I'm looking at one of his lessons, and that's generally what I do, go through his lessons. And because he was a pastor of over 32 years, and so I find something on his birthday to recognize him. Uh, it's for myself you know, as well to share with others um, because he was a strong man of God. But, you know, pastors and ministers, you know, they're people too. They're human too. So uh, sometimes life, life can get to be a little uh, difficult for them as well. So, but they keep going because they are men of God. You know, they... Everybody feels like they don't need what the people under them need. And that's not true. They need those same things. Strength, understanding, someone to look over them, to pray for them. They need the same thing. So, because they're human. But, you know, I, again, I just do this every year on his birthday. I bring out something out of a sermon that he that he had preached, and believe me, I got hundreds of them here at the house. So this 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 morning, I wanted to share something that he uh, had written, even in his days of becoming uh, more ill uh, with his cancer. So he came from Luke, that. Fifth chapter, the 20th verse. So bear with me this morning. Jesus wants to see your faith. Jesus wants to see your faith. When faith goes into action, you can see it. Jesus wants to see your faith. You can't just talk about it. You got to exercise. He wants to see your faith because when faith goes into action, you can see it. You can see it. So when you feel as though you've lost it all, when you feel as though you've lost it all, God say, hold on a minute. I need you to hold on to your faith. I need you to trust me. I need you to not just talk about this thing. I need you to believe and trust me that I will, that I'm going to bring you out. You know why? Because I am God. Reading the scriptures, as I want to share this morning, that he has highlighted. I'm talking about my late husband. Before I go any further, I want to share these scriptures. So that we can have some clarity on why he, God is saying that he wants to see our faith. I want to make that clear. So in the scriptures coming from Luke, that fifth chapter, verses 17 through 21. That's where I'm going. Coming down off the mountain with them, he stood on a plain surrounded by disciples and was soon joined by a law, a huge congregation from all over Judea and Jerusalem, even from the seaside towns of Tyre and Sidon. They had come both to hear him and to be cured of their ailments. Those disturbed by evil spirits were healed. Everyone was trying to touch him 
so much energy surging from him, so many people healed. Then he spoke. You're blessed when you've lost it all. God's kingdom is there for the finding. You're blessed when you're ravenously hungry. Then you're ready for the messianic meal. You're blessed when the tears flow freely. Joy comes with the morning. You're blessed. Let me go back to that section B. You're blessed when you've lost it all. God's kingdom is there for the finding. You're blessed when you're raven ravenously hungry. Then you're ready for the Masonic meal. You're blessed when the tears flow freely. Joy comes with the morning. Count yourself blessed. Every time someone cuts you down or throws you out, every time someone smears or blackens your name to discredit me, I just want to go a little bit further. Count yourself blessed every time someone cuts you down. See, God knows that we're going to experience some things, okay? Or throws you out. Every time someone smears or blackens your name to discredit me. In other words, people aren't upset with you because of you. People are upset with you because of what God is doing in your life and God is doing to, with you and God is speaking to you and God has given you a vision and they don't like what they see and that's why he say here when they discredit me. Not when they discredit you or me. They, when him. When they discredit him. Because whenever somebody and you are a child of God and somebody is trying to hurt you and cut you down and throw you out and blacken your name, God say, I see that. And don't think that is you that they're after. It's me that they're after because you are walking after me. And when you are walking and following after God, you cannot go wrong. And that's people trying to make you feel as though what you are doing is not right. That is people who are trying to make you feel that what you are doing is not worthy. There is people. They are out there and they want to destroy you. But God is telling us here, count yourself blessed because I've said this, that this is in my own words. Dogs don't chase park cars. When you aren't doing anything, it gives nobody a reason to bother you. People are only bothering you because you are doing something. So you got to raise up in the morning or in the afternoon and in the, or in the midnight hours and talk to God. Talk to God about your troubles. Talk to God about how they're treating you. Talk to God about how sometimes they make you feel worth, worthless. Talk to God how they make you feel like you counted out. Talk to God about it all. You know why? Because he said you are still blessed. Even when you feel like you've lost it all. Even when you feel like you've lost it all. Can I say that again? Even when you feel like you've lost it all. I have a current situation going on right now. My technical director is waiting for me this morning to get off of here to work again on this very issue that I know is Satan trying to make it put into my mind. You just ought to throw that out. You ought to stop doing that. It's not even worth it. Why you keep going out there bothering people, trying to get people to come on a talk show? It ain't time for that. People got other things on their mind. See, that's how Satan start feeding you. But God said, uh-uh, I sent you some help because I gave you the vision. I gave you the vision. I got somebody, and, and, and it's not just my technical director. I, I, I have other people who, who are studying constantly trying to push me forward. 
to, to, to keep going. See, everybody needs some armor bearers. I don't care who you are. Everybody needs somebody to have to hold them up when they feel like they want to just give up because you feel like you've lost it all. Come on, we, we stop acting like you ain't never been to that point. We didn't feel like you just lost it all. You know why? Because dealing with this situation that I'm dealing with, I'm telling you, it entered my mind. I feel like I need to just, maybe I do need to just give up. Maybe that is the end of the road for me. Maybe this is, 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 is what all God had for me after three years. But God, you know, he, he's so magnificent in his own way. That he have people to stop by because he works in human agency and say, don't you do, don't you do that? Cause trouble don't last always. And then in remembrance of my dear sweet husband, you know, the, 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 giving me a word to just share with you on a day in remembrance of him, in remembrance of him. And I find the sermon that he said, Jesus wants you to see your faith, want to see your faith. Jesus wants to see your faith, not man. Don't, don't, don't worry about what man looking at, looking at what, look at what the Lord wants to see in you. Cause he's telling us here in this word in Luke, you're blessed when you've lost it all. God's kingdom, kingdom is there for the finding. You are blessed. And trouble don't last always. Trouble does not last always. Because the morning has to come. He even say you're blessed when you're ravenly hungry. Hungry for what? Hungry for God's word. Hungry for God's presence. Hungry for God's comfort. Hungry for God's love. Hungry for God's acceptance. Hungry for God just hovering over your life. Hungry for his presence. Hungry for his friendship. Hungry for his bonding with you. You got to be hungry for that. And when you are hungry for that, God say, I'm right there feeding you with what? With my word. I'm feeding you, Electra, I'm feeding you this morning. I'm feeding you. You can even share the plate of food that I gave you. You know why? Because it's my word that I'm feeding you. I'm feeding you. Even though you feel like you've lost it all. Hang in there. I gave you the vision. I will take care of you. I've sent some helpers on the way. Because I know what I'm doing because this thing is not about you. See, when God gives you a vision, it's not about you. It's about him. It's all about him. And don't you never think that Satan is not going to try to uh, try to take a seat at your table. He don't care if you don't give him a chair. He is going to get him a lawn chair. He going to sit at your table one way or the other. But you got to keep going in your faith. So that he may flee. Don't serve him no dinner. Don't give him no comfort. Because he don't want to move out your life. He always going to, to, to show up sooner or later. To try to make you feel like God. Is not worth serving. And you know it as well as I know it. God been, God been with us for a long time. And we can stand on his word. And just this morning, when you feel like you've lost it all, don't you dare give up. Don't you dare throw in the towel. Don't you dare say God has, has, has forsaken me. Don't you dare do that. Because you have it. So you blessed when this fall, when, when this happens. I want to even go back. I want to read back up on that. Count yourself blessed every time. I, I think somebody really needs to hear this. Every time someone cuts you down. I know right now somebody cutting me down. I know right now. I haven't physically heard it. I haven't physically seen it. It's just what people do. And they don't only cut me down. They cut you down. But he said, every time someone cuts you down, count yourself blessed. Or throws you out every time someone smears or blackens your name to discredit me. What it means is that the truth is too close for comfort. 
The truth is, let me read that again. See, when they do that stuff, see, what it means is that the truth is too close for comfort and that that person is uncomfortable. When you serve in God, people become uncomfortable. That's why they try to put you down. That's why they try to make you feel less than. That's why they try to make you feel like your God don't love you. That's why they try to make you feel like God has forgotten you. That's why they try to make you feel like your vision, like your vision is nothing. That's why they don't support you. It's okay. Get comfortable with them not supporting you. It's okay because as long as God is with you, he going to send some more people. He going to send some more people. See, he's clarifying what it means in, in the word that he's telling us. When they do this to you, he say what it means is that the truth is too close for comfort. And, and that that person is uncomfortable. You can be glad. When that happens, you ought to get, you ought to get, you ought to get excited when that happens. That's, 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 that's what this word is saying. Skip like a lamb if you like. For even though they didn't, they don't like it, I do. <laughs> even though they don't like what you do, even though they counting you out, God say, I do. I do. See, that's like being at the altar with that man that you're getting ready to marry. And you say, I do. You know how that sound when he tell you that he love you? It even sounds better when he say, I do. And that's God. Just put that in the frame, the mind frame of God. God say, I don't just have a I love you for you, but I got a I do. I do. I do what? I do love you, Electra. I do love you. Just put your name in there. God said, I do. See, like, because you married to him. So, so guess what? So guess what? You the bride. Oh, my God. I like that. I could stay there all day. I do. Oh, they walked out on you. Remember me. I do. I do. They talking about you. Remember me. Remember that God said, I do. Ooh, that's powerful. You're going to catch it later on. When God said, I do, that means he was in it the whole nine yards in your life. See, church is the bride. Okay? So, let me tell you something. When you come unto him and you give it all to him, he say, I do. Yeah. I don't just love you. I don't just have a I love you for you. I got a I do. <laughs> I love that. I love that. And say, for even though they don't like it, I do. And all heaven applauds. And all heaven applauds. Oh, yes. And all heaven applauds. He's letting us know that. He's letting us know. My I do is more and part, more powerful than anybody's I do. That person that you married down here physically on earth, yep, they said I do. But they do some things sometime along the way to, to, to hurt you. They do some things along, not, not along the way to show you that they don't fully understand. You know that thing that happened in marriages. But guess what? It just You got to build on marriages. That's, that's not an easy thing, right? But see, with God, God say, when I say I do, I lay it all on the field. I will do anything you need me to do. Just follow me. I do. I'm not going to talk about you. I'm going to come to you through my word. I'm going to come to you through my Holy Spirit. I'm going to speak to you through my Holy Spirit. I'm going to speak to you and give you comfort in my word. When you pick it up and read it. Because when I said I do. <laughs> when I said I do. I was meaning it. See, some people say I do, but they just only, that I do only stands when you're well and they don't have to take care of you. When you can feed yourself and they don't have to feed you. When you're not blind, okay, and, and they don't have to, they don't have to walk you around because you can't see. When they got to feed you because you can't feed yourself. See, see that I do down here can, can have an expiration date. But God say, when I say, I do, I'm there. I'm there through it all. 
I'm there through the rough times and the good times and the in-between times because my I do means something. Even when you've lost it all. Even when you've lost it all. God say, remember, I do. <laughs> you got to remember that. You must remember that. I've got to remember that. My strongest I do came from my God and it continues to come from my God. Even when they blacken my name, God say, but I do. Even when they count me out, God say, but I do. Where is your I do? Where is your I do? I'm, I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about in Christ. Where is your I do? Can you hear him? Can, it, can you hear him? See, he didn't leave you at the altar. See, he didn't, he didn't, when I say that, he didn't leave you at the altar. He's still walking and talking with you. He's still holding you in the midnight hours. He's still ministering to you through your through the Holy Spirit. He's still dispatching, dispatching angels over your life. When troubles come, when the waters are troubled, God say, I do. Such a sweet voice. Such a sweet voice. And, and, and then it says here, and all heaven applauds. And all heaven applauds. And know that you are in good company. My preachers and witnesses have always been treated like this. My, listen to this, because I want you to get this before I get off this morning. Not only they don't like it, but I do. And all heaven applause. And know that you are in good company. My preachers and witnesses, preachers and witnesses have always been treated like this. Let me tell you something. I want to say this to you as I say it to myself. Everybody gets to a point in life when they feel like they've lost it all. I don't care who you are. We need to be transparent and we need to be honest. We don't always have it together. We don't. But when you feel like you've lost it all, think about these words from God, from the word of God, that you're blessed when you've lost it all. I didn't say it. He said, it. you're blessed when you've lost it all. You are. You're blessed because God's kingdom is there for the finding. You can get back up. You can get back up again. Yes, you can. Yes, I can. Because God say that we've always, his people, his witnesses, his preachers, those who follow him, those who have committed to him, we've always been treated like this. This is nothing new up under the sun that people are treating you like they are treating you. That life is sometimes flipping upside down on you. It's nothing new. But God is telling us to count it as joy. So what people are doing to you, what people are saying about you, even how you're being made to feel at this time, guess what? Guess what? God said, not me. Even when you've lost it all, you are still blessed because I said, I do. Sometime today, just think about those two words. I do. God said it. And because of that, I'm going to keep on working on my situation. <laughs> I'm going to keep working on my situation. With this podcast equipment. I'm going to keep working on it. 
God said, just keep working on it. Just keep, see the way that they treat you, the way that they talk about you, the way that they see you, the way that they're counting you out. Hey, I do. I do. And because I do, guess what? He does. You do. You do because I do. You exist because I do. You are loved because of my I do. You are cared about because of my I do. You are attacked because of my I do. I do. Oh my God. I do. I hear him saying it to me. Electra, don't give up. Hold on to my I do. Because trouble don't last always. Even when, even when you feel like You've lost it all. Even when they're blackening your name. Even when. Just count it as joy. Because I do. And you, because of that, because of my I do, you are still blessed. Okay? Okay? I pray that they gave you some inspiration and encouragement on this morning. And me, I get to, I want to show y'all something. Even when my late husband was, 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 uh, you know, going down with his illness, was taking him down. He was still trying to etch things, uh, down to give information to God's people. He did that. I just wanted to show that. When God gives you that I do, it never stops. It never stops. And then when God empties you, it's done. It's done. So in remembrance of my late husband, Pastor Michael James, I just I, I do this every year. And it's always a word. See, because I go from, I go, I use his Bible. This is his Bible. He even got his name at the bottom. <laughs> right there. So I'm proud. I'm proud to have been his wife for many years. You know, the years we had together. And, uh, but I'm mostly proud that how he taught me. He taught me so much. That when you come to the, end of the road and you've done everything that you can do all you can do is just watch God and he's going to figure it out and he's going to make a way so the podcast right now is still going on and I heard my husband's voice hey you got to keep going you got to keep going you're feeling like you want to throw in the towel don't do that God done sent some people your way to help hold you up. Everybody needs some armor bearers. Everybody. And God will get done what he wants to get done because that vision belongs to him. Because when he called you out for that, he did not have a conference call. It was you and him. So with that said, I want to remind everyone on tonight, that there will be a wonderful, wonderful interview on Electric James Inspirational Talks with my dear sister, my dear friend, and a loving and amazing woman of God, Free Little, from the Simply Free Little Talk Show. I tell y'all, I'm excited. I am so excited because I know this woman is a woman of integrity. This woman carries hope with her. This woman carries faith with her. This woman carries comfort with her. This woman carries meaning with her. She's not just an everyday woman. She is a true woman of God. A woman that really desires 
desires to see everybody built up, to see everybody move forward, to be, to see everyone counted in. You know why? I know because she the first one that endorsed Electric James inspirational talks. And she didn't just do it for me now. I'm just saying. I reference that because I reference her in that. Because she, let me tell you something. God don't never let you forget who was there. Who was there when you felt like the bottom was dropping out. God sent somebody by to endorse little me, little Electra. <laughs> I'm so grateful for her. I'm so grateful for Free Little. I'm so grateful for the things that she stands for. I'm so grateful for all of the different people that she brings on her talk show, Simply Free Little Talk Show. You get a chance, tune into her talk show. She has a an amazing lineup of, of, of uh, interviews with individuals. And I'm talking about local and, and, and across the, the, the United States, throughout the United States. She has some wonderful uh, uh, individuals who come on to her talk show. Uh, she even had me, Little Electra. She had me, Little Electra, from Electra James uh, Inspirational Talks. So, I, again, want to encourage you all to, we, we're still working on the, we're still working on our connection with the OBS, and like I told you, my technical director, she's waiting for me to get off, and then uh, Jacqueline Sarver, and then we're going to, she want to take a look at something else. I'm telling you, my Labor Day was filled with trying to get this done, but listen, I want y'all to know, God has still gave, given us and provided us with an avenue to get this done. So until we get this fixed, what we are doing is we're going on and we're setting up the recording of the Zoom interview. So you'll have to see the replay. So even if we lose connection tonight on the YouTube as we're interviewing with um, Free Little from the Simply Free Little talk show, I will upload it after the interview is done and you will see it at a later, like, like that next day sometime. It will be posted the next morning. We try to get it cleaned up and posted the next morning. But I've got to do, I've got to do as God directs me to do. Instead of throwing in the towel, I got to trust God. I got to trust God. And this is direction, the direction that he has us going in right now until we can get this fixed. And I want to thank uh, this morning uh, 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 Free Little for again agreeing to come on to the Electric James Inspirational Talks tonight at 7 o'clock p.m. I got to go to work, but I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm hyped up with this. I'm hyped up with this this morning. And uh and I've been waiting for this day. So it's finally here. All right. Also, before I get off this morning, I want y'all to, uh, just a reminder, we did not have the uh, conversations with the candidate yesterday, uh, William H. King III, who's running for Galveston County Judge uh, because it was a holiday. And, and so, but it will resume on next Monday. So we're going to keep doing what we got to do until we get this fixed. And however God leaves it, it's going to get done. It, it will get done. It's just delayed. God say it's just because it's delayed don't mean it's denied. So we have to do it this way. And then the hot topics will be uh, is every other Friday. So it won't be this Friday. But guess what? That next Friday, the following Friday, going to be doing that hot topics. Okay? Nothing is stopping. We're going to keep moving. We're going to keep doing what God has commissioned us to do. And it's not just me. I say this to anyone who is out there who is working on anything. It don't have to be a, a, a podcast or a talk show. Just whatever you are working on, whatever you're doing in your life, <sighs> When you feel like you've lost it all, just know you can depend on God's I do. You can. You can depend on God's I do. 
So y'all have a wonderful rest of the day. I hope I did not hold you too long this morning. I just wanted to, to, to put out there what God laid on my heart through my precious late husband, Pastor Michael James, okay, of 32 plus years pastoring the Trinity Missionary Baptist Church. I'm just honored to have been his wife. And uh, today, that's how I celebrate his birthday, always sharing a word from him through a word of God. All right. Y'all have a wonderful day. Enjoy your day. Love on yourself. You deserve to heart yourself too. Okay. Remember, no matter who gives you what I do, who you looking for, what's the strongest I do, you going to ever receive. Even when you feel like you've lost it all. God says, <laughs> I do. <laughs> Bye-bye.